Hi everybody, today I'm gonna be talking about e-twinning. Twinnings, collaborative projects between European schools ranging from infant schools, primary schools to high schools. It's a European community project supported by an online free platform which proved to be totally safe. To join in the project you need great enthusiasm, good technological skills and naturally you are expected to speak a little English unless you are willing to learn Ukrainian, Turkish or Finnish every time you meet a different partner. E-twinning is perfect for CLIL activities. We teach something, art, science, geography, but in English. In fact, we have to communicate with children who don't speak our mother tongue. This is the platform I'm talking about. Do you recognize the logo? Well, maybe you've already seen it. You will find it useful to collaborate with other schools, watching videos or pictures sent by children living thousands of kilometers away from us, without stepping foot out of our classroom. Isn't it amazing? Admittedly, I heard about it years ago, but only recently I decided to join in. It had been a pleasant surprise. Despite a low commitment as a teacher, I could see significant results. Kids got involved and passionate. Even with the daily routine, such as reading the calendar, they look forward to sending a video to their foreign mates and looking at what they have sent us. Well, we are going to explore the public e-twinning portal and join in a project. I type e-twinning and I get here on page it's a portal which is a website or web page providing access or links to other sites. In fact we can find three levels. Let's start with the first one, the public portal. I see here on the left the word portal. Well the language is Italian now but you can easily switch. Click here. I can navigate the portal even if I don't log in. Let's explore this menu. About, project, recognition, professional development and news. Here, about, the website introduces itself. It was launched in 2005, co-founded by the Erasmus+, Plus, the European Programme for Education, Training, Youth, but this is not today's topic. Ok, I go back to the home page and in this window I can see the projects. Let's have a look. Every now and then they can change. Today I see these. You can get inspired. I'll leave to your further exploration the windows recognition and professional development and news. Those are very interesting, but today I'd like to show you what you'll find at the second level. At the top of the page, next to the word portal, you can see eTwinning Live. And now I have to log in. You see, create an account. I fill in and then I go to my email so I can complete my registration. I can't show you this part of the procedure because I've already subscribed to the project months ago. I log in and now my name is here, up here on the right. Well, now the menu is different. I'm at the second level. This is not the portal but it's winning live. The menu has changed, people, events, projects, groups, partners forum, professional development. Again, so many engaging possibilities, but I will focus on what is needed to start a project with another European school. I click on projects. There is the option to search for a suitable project for my class using keyboards name, place and so on. My children are aged 6 or 7, the language is English. I write these indications and these results appear. 
700 results. I start checking. First of all, I read the date. A 2015 project may be closed. I see a 2018 project. Are you shoes happy? But again, there's the right point. The project is closed. I can go on with my search. By changing the keywords patiently, I had found a nice project. Scientific experiments for children with very cheap material. But before I could find it, I got stuck with so many closed projects. So a better way to find open projects is to join the partner forum. Here, it's a forum. There are eTwinners, which means users who subscribe to eTwinning, who are here to find partners for their projects. I see the project Our City. I click on that's fine, it's open. The message is recent. I click on the teacher's name and, well, she is the one who takes care of the project. And there's the possibility to send her a message. Here it is. My name is Angela, my pupils are, and this is my email contact. I send and now I wait. I can tell you that I had to wait just a couple of days and my message has been answered. I could join in two projects. I'll show you what happens. I reached the third level, do you remember? First level, public portal. You don't have to log in. Second level, eTwinning Live. I can search for a project. Third level, Twin Space. I have joined a project and I'm collaborating with other schools and teachers. Twin space, do you see the layout is different? It's a different part of the portal. My projects are English in the air and Christmas card exchange. I open this one. The aim of the project is to send real cards with envelopes and stamps to children all over Europe. Again, Twin space has got its own menu with several windows. This is the home page, a sort of a blog. Last night I uploaded my posts, pictures of the cards we have received from Turkey, Spain and Scotland. If I click on materials, I will see the making of. Pictures of kids crafting the cards, cutting and pasting, envelopes and stamps. Naturally, showing all this to your pupils on their smartboard will be the icing on the cake. Here, materials, I find the video of the classes singing English Christmas songs. And we posted our song too. In conclusion, these are the very same things we would have done anyway. Songs, Christmas cards. But we opened a window to see foreign children and let them see us. In a few months, when I'm more used to the project, we'll try to interact. Anyway, that's it. Good work and enjoy your school time!